afternoon. I want to thank you for allowing me to speak. I want to talk about euthanizing of the animals at the Lowndes County Animal Shelter. Through open record request from the Department of Ag, I was able to obtain records showing reports on inspections from the Department of Ag. Going back to April 7, 2010, the shelter has been cited for violations involving euthanizing code section 40-13-13-08 and also on discrepancies in the euthanization log record book, falsifying records. <coughs> on April 29th, again, the shelter was written up for violations with reporting drugs. Pat Smith with the Ag Department um, noted that she drove over to Dr. Thornhill's office to talk to him about these findings. Now, I'm not listed every day, so obviously I'd be here forever. Um, August 26, Mr. Pritchard met with Vanessa Sims Green with the Department of Ag. After this meeting, Mr. Pritchard ordered all employees to have a drug tested. Um, don't know the results of that. On September 10, 2010, an animal cruelty complaint was made from Atlanta uh, in regards to a bulldog that was at the shelter. Dr. Thornhill was not contacted during this period of time. At that time, Pat Smith requested that the complaint go before an administrative hearing review board. Uh, not sure about the outcome on that. It seems like there's been the same violations still occurring at the shelter, even as up to this year, and it doesn't seem like anyone is trying to make an effort to correct these problems. The state of Georgia has laws regarding euthanizing. These are laws of, from the correct dosage of drugs to be used by weight of the animal. If these dosages are not administered correctly, the animal could go into convulsions, thrashing around, trying to bite themselves, and flopping around on the floor. This is inhumane, and I don't think any of y'all would want to see that. Why would you not do the proper thing to make this process as painless as possible? I don't understand. Are you trying to cut back on money? Whatever. Now, I know that Dr. Thornhill may have his own opinions, but you should be going by what the state of Georgia says. Open records show that IPs are not being administered by what the state of Georgia says. Code section OCG 4-11-5.1, it is the law. If you do not obey the law, then you are breaking the law. And that's pretty simple to me and everyone else. Falsifying drugs, where are they going? If you're not putting down the drugs right on the logs, where are they going? Now recently, y'all fired two employees for improper euthanizing. And I applaud you for doing that because that was the right thing to do. Most places, when they are written up for violations, they usually correct the violations before the next inspection. <coughs> I don't see where that's happening here at all. It seems like it's being repeated over and over again. To me, this should fall on the director and also on y'all as a board. So why wouldn't you want to make sure that everything is kept correctly? There are just too many repeated violations, and I would like to see something being done about it. Uh, thank you for your time.